Diary. Okay, so part two of the disassembly, and uh, you'll see I had to use an additional uh, super tool, which is the uh, a hairdryer from Agata. And using the combination of the mallet and the hairdryer, I managed to heat these edges, and uh, then using the hammer a second time round, managed to remove the uh, the outer casing. So you'll see that there's a there's a kind of edge down there, into which this this edge here sits. You see that there's an edge there and that sits into that edge there. So it actually will sit flush, if you like, um, like that. Do it all the way around, like that. Now there's been a bit of damage on the edge of the casing, um, uh, but I think when it's glued back together, it should be okay. Now the next step is to um, you have to, you have to, there is the uh, 8266 chip here and unfortunately the contacts are on the underside so the next step is unfortunately you have to remove the PCB and how are we going to do that? Uh, the only real way to do that is to unsolder the PCB from the pins and that means unsoldering it here and the other point here so it's basically almost a two-person job. Uh, I, I don't actually have any desoldering tools, so someone's going to have to hold the body of the electronics whilst I solder, unsolder this edge and then pull it, pull it up in, in slow increments. And that will be able to take the PCB off. And then we'll be at the stage where we can attach some probes to the underside. Again, I think they need to be soldered on. That's what we did the first time around. This is our second attempt, second uh, plug that we're converting. Um, and then using the serial to USB converter, we can reflash with test motor. Okay, let's uh, let's get ahead, and we'll be report later.